Hi guys, welcome back to another timeless reading. Um, this reading is going to be a little bit diff uh, different as this focus is, is going to focus on your past life. Okay, so the first card represents your soul. Okay, um, the message in this card is actually very very simple um, that message comes down to breaking down all, all old foundations and to actually build a new foundation on which you can start your life again um, so I actually got a few confirmation cards here but let's start from the past Okay, <clears throat> this card, Ten of Pentacles, the tens always signify completion. When you see ten in a card, it means that a cycle has been ended. So you had a lot of money in your previous lifetime. Um, when you actually look at... Um, Pentacles in general, they represent Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. These are all earth signs that focused on material manifestation, earning money. When your life ended, you lost everything. Okay. Unfortunately, you did not see this coming. Um, you did not realize then who you were now. So the lessons that can be learned from this, this is very, very important. Um, seek help when needed. Ask when you need help. Um, it's very, very easy to, when you lose something, get into that state of the whole world is going to reject me. If that is a mentality that you are still holding on or that are still blocking you, let it go and you are going to see how things are going to change in your life. If you had the help then, if you knew about the light keepers then, they would have told you that it's always better to trust in heaven. Things changes like all the time and therefore it's not a, a good thing to actually build your dreams and hopes on money alone. Build it on something that can last forever. So, sometimes these lessons can actually help us in this lifetime. Just gonna put that like that one. What you didn't know then was that even though your previous incarnation went through something, or should I say, a major loss, while you started clearing things in this lifetime, you might not have realized that. Or who, who, who you actually are. This God, the High Priestess, is you. The High Priestess is basically telling you to always think with your intuition. To always trust your heart. Because there are things that might be happening around you that you are not seeing. Okay, and it's very, very important when we start with shadow work that we can only learn new things, that we can only hear the voice of truth. And what this God is actually saying to you is that a lot of people are taking your energy, a lot of people want a lot of things from you. Okay? 
this is very very important to protect your energy it's very important to protect you but know that this is where setting boundaries come in so the confirmation card that I got from the light keepers is this one to all cool Dharma unfolding remember that you are on a path take one step at a time do not think that everything is going to happen all at once so therefore be patient know that things happen when they are supposed to happen so what are your powers what are your abilities what are the things that your previous incarnation actually passed on to you that you might not be aware of this card the magician is an incredible incredible amazing card this card is all about manifestation the ability to convert real thoughts and spiritual energy into action to learn skills quicker than others can healing is another ability that has been passed on to you so the magician as you can see I don't know if you can see this on the card is number one this is the start of a new beginning so basically how this is going to work is now that you have got the background now you know exactly where can you start from here if you haven't already started so keep this in mind because you know what it's incredibly difficult to actually manifest unless you know how but you know and then this card is basically going to help you with manifestation once you understand the following things are never as we think they are constantly in motion they are constantly changing and the only way to get through it is to trust in your inner knowing look deeper letting go of all false beliefs all things that you are not sure of but in order for you to be able to manifest this you are going to have to focus on that also know that you are a teacher you are here to teach so if you focus on taking it one step at a time you will also realize that the obvious is not always that obvious so this God Lord Ganesh infinite abundance um, this God focuses on all obstacles are currently being removed note that spiritual support is available for you so therefore I hope that this reading this past life reading has shed a lot of light on what can actually help you today thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you in my next reading bye bye